I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Joe Sullivan, and big data, of course, is a big part of big IT. And what is HP Storage bringing to the table these days with relation to big data? Uh, good question, Jake. So good to be here. Um, what we're seeing is customers have got a lot more sophisticated about how they think about big data. So it's no longer just about I'm building a Hadoop cluster to do batch analytics. It's I've got to build out a data pipeline. I've got to solve a specific customer use case, something I'm trying to do for my business, optimize my business, new lines of business, all that. Right. So we're building out solution infrastructure that is aligned to the model that customers are thinking about in terms of an elastic design for their big data architecture. That no longer, we can't have a single box doing everything. There's too many workloads, too many frameworks. So from a storage perspective, we've got systems like our Apollo 4200, really good platform for building out a core data lake. Apollo 4500, really good platform for building out an archive storage tier for that data lake. And then partnering across other Apollo family systems like the Apollo 6500 with GPUs to do more advanced deep learning analytics and approach kind of the end-to-end -end viewpoint of that story. What's kind of a common use case scenario that you might see in building out one of those systems? So, you know, often it starts with, you know, we've got an EDW environment, a bunch of data. We want to throw it all into a data lake so we can start to do some interesting things munging that. So that's a really good fit for an you know, Apollo 4200 system. That's where we start to see customers think about, I need a denser platform. Heck, it's expensive to run the licensing if I'm buying a thousand nodes. I, I need to consolidate that. So it kind of starts there, and then we start to see customers get more mature thinking about you know, archival use cases. Then thinking about more advanced use cases, I want to do streaming analytics, real-time analytics. So how do I access the data from other systems in my environment? How do I build a high-speed fabric connecting my compute resources to those storage resources? So how do they do those things? <laughs> <laughs> they, get, they call us, we help them out. Um, you know, so we build solutions, reference architectures, cookbooks, documentation that helps guide the customers. We work closely with Point Next to enable things like the GreenLake for Big Data Service that allows customers to do that from an OPEX or consumption-based model. So we work closely with a lot of our large accounts, building tools, building documentation, collateral that helps that process. So how does, it, how does like the, the Apollo system with a whole lot of drives in it um, mesh with, say, like the three-par offering and the Nimble offering or the other storage offerings? Sure, good question. So, you know, traditional storage architectures, Nimble 3 par have, uh, you know, they've got their place in the environment. From a big data perspective, you know, it's really about that software-defined storage system. So it's you know, HDFS or it's S3. It's about the ability to scale out large petabyte capacity environments. You've got to be able to store a lot of data, and it can't be an expensive data tier because customers are starting to just save everything. They know the data's got value. They know they want to access that data at some point. They may not know what they're doing with it yet. They may not know how to use it and what it might mean to their business, but they got to store it. So you've got to have a, a, a dense system that's cost effective, that can scale out, but still performant, and, and still has the capabilities of you know, things we bring from an HPE perspective around management. So this, this may be a place where they're, they're dumping a whole bunch of data that they don't know what they want to do with yet versus something like a three-par system that needs to be highly available and, and ready for Correct. whatever the day-to-day yeah. -day business needs are. Correct. That's a good way to put it. And, and what we're seeing is, you know, certainly with things like InfoSight coming up from the Nimble side, you know, we're working closely with the InfoSight team to understand how do we bring that capability into the broader big data storage landscape? What are we going to do for customers that have the same problem statement that the Nimble customers, 3 power customers have, providing predictive support experience, providing an optimized, how do I understand my workload experience, and how do I automate where my data lives, how do I automate some of the recovery in a big data environment that maybe is outside Nimble. So we're doing a lot of interesting stuff there too.